Hi there, time for more RTN 101. Uh, something I get asked about a lot uh, to do with this article is the example I've, I've given in it for uh, using a little tool called the GNSS Internet Radio. That is uh, a standalone uh, NTRIP client. Uh, they also have standalone NTRIP servers, etc. But this is the, the free public domain one. You're, uh, i got to find a data collector. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Um, your data collector probably has survey software built into it. And if it's uh, the G GPS type of uh, capable survey software, it probably has an NTRIP client built into it if it was done, uh, if the software came out in the last uh, four or five years. So you won't have to worry about this, but getting used to the idea of the uh, the, the camera, and also there's this, this voice delay thing. It's sort of like the lip sync. You know, it's like, oh, no, God, you know, it's coming. Save Tokyo. But anyhow, um, getting used to the idea of the concept of NTRIP, it'd be a really good idea to download this tool called the GNSS Internet Radio, put it on your desktop, and get used to connecting. There's also other things you can do with that tool afterwards. Okay, you can go to the website of the outfit that developed NTRIP originally. This is a, a German uh, depar uh, federal department, the uh, Bundesstadt Kartographie Geodesy or something like that. But anyhow, they're called the BKG. Think of them as sort of like the NGS and the USGS all rolled into one, but in German. Go to their website, which is this um, URL up here. you got to type it in just like that. And you have to go to this scroll box here and go to NTRIP. And here's the downloads. And sorry about the flickering cursor. That's just part of this uh, webcam thing. The GNSS Internet Radio for Windows or for certain mobile uh, devices, but you can download this, uh, right click on it, save the target, run the application. It does not need to read to the registry, so you don't need administrator rights to put it on on your operating system. Uh, while we're in here, actually there's another application I want to point out. It's called GNSS Surfer, and this has uh, a lot more options for folks for moving data and uh, GPS data around. I won't go into it too much, but it's a fun one to download, although a lot of the instructions are in German. If you're into deep geek mode, go get that one. So let's say we've got that thing downloaded, and we will go uh, do an example of an intro. That is just going out and grabbing the source table from the caster. And the source table are sources of data streams from this caster, which can be single base in all kinds of different flavors of RTCM or CMR or whatever the RTN operator provides you. Uh, those are, you know, broadcast only or broadcast only Mac or whatever. The There's also the um, bidirectional style too, which get kicked off by a uh, position from your rover and kick off a correction creation like VRS or non-physical. So that's just looking at a caster raw through the internet through a web page. Once you've got that uh, application installed, the GNSS internet radio, take a look at it. The broadcaster you would click and put in the IP and the port of the caster that you're going to pull the streams from or your RTN provider you got to put a user ID and a password. Now, I'm going to show you uh, first off here. This is a bidirectional or VRS style correction. And this is a list of the mount points on this caster. I've only got four on this test one. When you go to a caster, occasionally go and hit update source table because it'll add any new ones they've got. So I'm going for, you'll notice there's information on this uh, mount point. The name is is a subnetwork of Washington State. It's VRS and it's putting a CMR plus type correction out. Now, 
that naming convention can be completely different on any caster. But if I go to stream details, I can get the relevant information. The name of it, the authentication is basic, which means I need to put in a username and password. The format of what it's going to send you is CMR Plus, which is exactly the same type of CMR Plus you would get out of a base and rover setup, except this is created by a network style correction. No difference to the, the rover end. Uh, this particular one is producing GPS and GLONASS, and it's saying that you must send your position to kick off the correction creation. This is the lat and long of where you want.